माय नेम इज डॉक्टर रोहित पवार ने जूनियर रेसिडेंट थ्री फ्रॉम भारती विद्यापीठ सांगली प्रेजेंटिंग ऑथर डॉक्टर रोहित पवार ने कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग ऑथर डॉक्टर विजय कुमार एस माने अफिलिएशन ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग ऑथर जूनियर रेसिडेंट थ्री अफिलिएशन ऑफ कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग ऑथर प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस इंस्टीट्यूशन भारती विद्यापीठ डीम टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल सांगली टॉपिक ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफिक फाइंडिंग्स इन पेशेंट विद ऑकुलर कंप्लेन्स एम एम ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन इज टू स्टडी द अल्ट्रासो अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफिक फाइंडिंग्स इन पेशेंट्स रेफर्ड विद ऑकुलर कंप्लेन्स ऑब्जेक्टिव टू डिस्क्राइब द यू एस फीचर्स इन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ऑकुलर डिजीजेस टू इवेल्युएट द रोल ऑफ ऑकुलर सोनोग्राफी एंड कलर डॉपलर इन वेरियस ऑकुलर कंडीशंस एंड कंपेरिजन ऑफ यू एस जी फाइंडिंग्स इन पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव पेशेंट्स इन सेलेक्टेड केसेस इंट्रोडक्शन पेशेंट्स प्रेजेंटिंग विद ऑकुलर कंप्लेन्स मस्ट अंडर गो डिटेल ऑकुलर इवेल्युएशन कन्वेंशनल मेथड्स विच हैव बीन यूज फॉर मैनी ईयर्स फॉर इवेल्युएश फॉर इवेल्युएटिंग द आई हैव इंक्लूडेड स्लिट लैम्प एंड फंडोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन दीज प्रोसीजर्स कैन बी कंडक्टेड इन द आउट पेशेंट क्लिनिक विदाउट मच डिस्कम्फर्ट ऑफ टू द पेशेंट्स ऑल्सो दी डायग्नोस्टिक एक्यूरेसी ऑफ दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज फेयरली हाई हाउ एवर दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिक्वायर दैट द मीडिया शुड बी नॉन ओपिक इट इज फॉर दिस रीजन दैट दीज ट्रेडिशनल इन्वेस्टिगेशन लूज देयर इंपॉर्टेंस इफ द क्लिनिशियन वॉन्ट्स टू वॉन्ट टू डायग्नोज पेशेंट्स विद एन ओपे कॉर्निया एंड कैट्रैक्ट एंड द अदर पैथोलॉजीज विच इन्वॉल्व द रेटाइना एंड कोरोड मेम्ब्रेन इमेज मोडलिटीज सच एस सी टी एंड एम आर आई have been used with high accuracy so so as to investigate the various pathologies of the orbit and globe the ct scan has a very high exposure to radiation while the mri scan is associated with prohibitive costs as the result previously published literature has demonstrated the increasing use of ultrasound in diagnosing ocular diseases ultrasonography is not only cheap but also does not expose the patient to high uh, doses of radiation the investigation can be conducted with the help of portable machine which increases the accessibility of this modality and it can be conducted non invasively as well materials and method study design it is a descriptive observational study study setting department of radio diagnosis bharti vidyapeeth medical college and hospital sangli study population patient referred from the department of radio diagnosis bharti hospital mm-hmm. sangli for b scan with ocular complaints and fulfilling all these criteria of in, uh, inclusion inclusion criteria all cases with clinical suspicion of ocular diseases with uh, were eligible for the study admit admitting to bharti hospital sangli where uhg scan was done as uh, uhg scan was used as modality aiding in evaluating the case exclusion criteria patient with act, active ocular surface infection patient with either a high risk of high risk or presents with extrusion of ocular contents patients with orbital trauma results in this presentation 100 100 patients were included of which 10 patients had both eye affected so a total of 110 eyes were studied average age was 57.37 plus minus 15.9 years ranging from 2 years to 86 years it was observed that the 58% of the patients were in the age group of 51 to 70 years then there were 22% patients in the age group of 31 to 50 years based on usg the most common diagnosis formed uh, was cataract which was presented in 30.3% of the involved eye the next common diagnosis was that of retinal detachment which was presented in 13.7 per 17.3% of the involved eyes vitreous hemorrhage was diagnosed in 11.8% of these involved eyes cataract with posterior vitreous detachment was diagnosed in 7% cases less common diagnosis were made that of aphakia in 6.4% uh, dislocated slice subluxated lens in 5.5% retinal detachment with vitreous hemorrhage in 3.6% only posterior vitreous detachment in 3.6% choroidal detachment in 2.7% and retinosis in 1.8% there was one case each with old retinal detachment with cyst optic glioma posterior cephaloma rd plus subretinal hemorrhage thysis bulbi uveitis with vitreous hemorrhage with 
neovascularization glaucoma there were four patients 3.6% who had no abnormalities detected on ehgs Dis- discussion the present observational study was carried out among patients who were referred with a clinical suspicion of ocular pathology to the department of radio diagnosis for undergoing ocular vis scan ultrasonography the present study was conducted for december 2018 till may 2020 during which they underwent p scan uhg based on the ocular uhg findings of lens vitreous membrane choroid retina and optic nerve were noted for all cases and a diagnosis was done we included 100 patients in the present study of which 10 patients has had both eye affected so a total of 110 eyes were studied in our study mean age of patient mean age of the patients was 56.37 plus minus 15.9 years and 58% of the patients were in the age group of 51 to 70 years also males and females were equally distributed the most common presenting complaint was uh, diminished vision 99% the, uh, there were nine cases with pain and five cases with each with redness of eye and eye discharge there was no history of surgery trauma or trauma in 78% of the cases of the result of the rest 11% has had a history of trauma and 10% were previously operated for cataract and one case for retinal detachment in our study 28% were diabetics 18% hypertensive and 2% were both diabetic and hypertensive the discussion points include axial length of the affected eye uhg findings of the lens in affected eye uhg finding of the posterior segment of the affected eye uhg finding of retina uhg finding of the choroid uhg finding of the optic nerve uhg diagnosis in the affected eye accuracy of uhg diagnosing diagnosis based on comparison of uhg findings in post operative patients in selected cases these are the following uh, references uh, we took 50 references out of out of 50 references these are the top 8 references in our study